Hey guys, show you guys how to do some fall jig fishing. Right, about 50 degrees, checking it out. I already got one, but let's get into it. Sometimes you gotta look out for line slack. This guy bumped about two, three foot of line slack in my line. And I ended up hooking him right in the bottom of the jaw. This one ain't bad either. All of them are pretty much coming from that side over there. We're using braid today. Using 15 pound braid, spider wire, and a, uh, our Lose Xfinity speed stick with a speed spool on it. Braid's really important. Real sensitivity, you can feel that bite. That last fish, I felt the bite instantly and I jigged it a couple times and he smacked it. Jigged it about two, three times, let it sit, feel him tap it, and I put a little pressure on it, just barely pinned. So he just barely picked it up, probably smacked the claws. Go ahead and get him unpinned. There you go. It's like a peanut butter and jelly jig. It's a little more natural and an all-natural craw. Kind of a light finesse, little style fall jig presentation because it's very sunny out but i'm in the shaded part like i said i've seen some bait in there another tip is uh take your time go extra slow i'm just moving it a little bit and letting it sit for a while i'm not moving it a lot like this like i would in the summer jigging it a lot quickly trick is, is just try to find a spot up tight close to that bank where they'd normally be sitting and then uh, kind of just lightly tap it try to be more finesse about it during the fall colder it gets slower moving baits are key and with this braid you'll you'll definitely feel them bite Got one, got one, got one, got him. Got him. Got him. All right. 
on the tip, the, uh, that last fish kind of smacked it, put a lot of line uh, slack in the line, and that's how I was able to detect that bite. I didn't really feel a tap on it, I just felt the huge, huge line slack. That's why it's really important to have this, this uh, braid, so you have extra sensitivity with your rod so you can feel them bites. Uh, like I was telling you, a lot of this uh, bites have been, since it's very sunny right now, even though it's fall and cold, these bass are really keen to that sun hitting their eyes, so they're in a little bit of a shaded cove right now, and every time I cast in there, there's a little bit of bait, it's kind of pushing the bait inside of there, and anyways, these bass are, are keying in on bait about this size, that's why I use the all-natural, it's extra clear water, um, and all that just kind of mixes into a nice little package. These are about, uh, like I said, about $2 for the jig and this, this trailer at Walmart, fairly inexpensive. Put you guys on chest cam again. Cast it out into that fountain. See what I can get out. also using one of those high claw floaters. The claws float up towards the surface, so it makes a more realistic uh, fleeing bait kind of pattern. That also might be helping out. Instead of like a Christie crawl, where they just sit there on the bottom, this thing kind of just flutters every time you twitch it. I see a nice big bass in there right now. Let's see if I can get ahead of him real quick. Oh, there we go. Got him to eat it. All right. I just said I seen that one. <laughs> he filed it up and ate it. Man, that's perfect. I didn't think he was going to do it. He just kept following it though. 